Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanna show you how to get into safe mode on your Windows 10 PC. So our first method of getting into safe mode on your Windows 10 PC involves simply going to your start menu here. You're gonna click on the power button and then you're going to have the restart highlighted and you wanna hold down the shift key while clicking the restart button. So hold down shift, click restart, let go of both and then let your computer restart. After a few moments, you'll be brought to this screen where you'll have a couple of choices. Now you may have some different choices than I have on this computer here, but you'll want to select the troubleshoot option. On the next screen, you'll want to select advanced options. And then you'll see the startup settings and that's the choice we want to select for our next option. From here, your computer will restart again and it will give you a couple of these choices here. And as you can see, one of those options is to enable safe mode. So we're going to click the restart button and we'll give it another moment to reboot into this menu. After a moment, you'll come up to the startup settings menu. And as you can see, we have a couple of choices. You can either use your number keys or your F keys to select the choice you'd like. In this case, we'd like to select safe mode. We have a couple of choices. We have regular safe mode, safe mode with networking and safe mode with command prompt. We're going for just traditional safe mode. So we're going to select number four. And as you can see, we are now running in safe mode. You can tell we're running in safe mode because our wallpaper is now removed. We have our, our Windows 10 build at the very top here. We have safe mode in all four corners and no programs have started up in our taskbar or are running in the background. And once you are done using safe mode, all you have to do is simply just restart and we should restart back into our traditional normal Windows 10 experience. All right, now I'll show you a second method of getting into safe mode. So to do this, you'll simply want to go to your start menu Go to settings. Once settings comes up, you're going to update and security, and then you'll want to go down to recovery. And then you'll see the advanced startup section. Just click on restart now. All right, and after a brief restart, you'll come to this menu here. And mine may look a little different than yours. You may have more options than I do, but the choice we want to look for is troubleshoot. From here, you want to click on advanced options. And then from this menu, you want to click startup settings. Now it says it will restart to change windows options, such as we have a list of different options. And then what we're looking for is safe mode. So we're going to go ahead and click restart. And after another brief restart, we come to all of our choices here. You can select these with either your number keys or your function keys. And as you can see, the ones we're looking for here are the safe mode options. So we have enable safe mode. This will enable safe mode without networking. So you'll have no internet on this at all. You have enable safe mode with networking, which will offer you internet access, and you have enable safe mode with command prompt. So if you are more comfortable with using command prompt, you can use that. So uh, you can choose whichever you'd prefer. I would probably go with networking if you do need to download anything from the internet. So that would be number five. All right, and after a restart, you'll see that we are now in safe mode with networking. So as you can see on the top, we know that we are in safe mode because we have our build number showing at the top. We also have safe mode all around each corner. Now, as you can see, nothing is loading up in the background or on the taskbar, but we do have our internet access. So if you do have a virus or some issue where you need to use the internet to download a antivirus program, this will be the best method to do so. So hopefully this helped you if you were trying to get into safe mode on your Windows 10 PC. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.